I have been working with an amazingly talented group of collaborators for, for the last three and a half years. And the idea that we are organizing under is the idea that ultimately we are interdependent and stronger through collaboration. Where are we moving to? One of the things that's been really great is like getting to know uh, Tracy, Tommy, and Bamuti's personal styles, and then trying to figure out ways that I can adapt uh, the set uh, to accommodate their abilities. Uh, that becomes really obvious with Tommy, who, you know, is a is a rhythm expert and gets to kind of like bang everything that I make. In Oakland, the Blue House, uh, we we made it to be kind of a big drum, you know, and uh, and left some of the metal parts exposed so that they could function as a, a ring or a bell or a gong. Uh, same with with Bamuti, there's been ways where he's been able to use the set uh, as an extension of a, a performative space, dance space, percussive space, poetic space. If you look real close. You can see he has 21, maybe 27 and a half hairs on his chin. So I first see the hair because the first thing you notice is his skin. Uh, and, and then, you know, it's been really nice to see Tracy, who's extremely graceful, um, use, add delicacy, um, a, a delicateness uh, to uh, her engagement. Bamuti's interest in, um, in allowing people to do what they do best and giving me the freedom to uh, design something that's uh, very much in line with my artistic practice. Uh, it's been a really interesting challenge um, and a really great opportunity. So I, I think for collaborations to be successful for me, it requires a certain amount of trust uh, between me and the, the people that I'm collaborating with. And then um, uh, it requires a certain amount of expertise, you know, a, a willingness to go as far as you can uh, for the things that you believe in. For me, it's a different process. Usually, um, when I'm cast, whether it's as an actor or a dancer, it's uh, a very set thing. Uh, a choreographer has determined what the choreography is going to be. Um, the director has really mapped out the trajectory of the piece. And so with this, um, you know, for me, it was very experimental. It being an organic, fluid process. You think outside the box. You, you know, add elements that haven't been seen before. And then it's like, okay, we, we all four of us might have an idea. They all might be good, but how can we all then work together, consolidate or compromise to a certain extent to get the best uh, idea or outcome from all of that input? Who brought what? Everybody brought their A game for sure. You know, we're, we're collaborating. Well, I'm dancing, <laughs> I'm dancing. Um, and you know, I'm doing monologues and all of that, all, all the things, you know. So everybody's got their strong points and then we kind of all get to do everybody's this thing, you know. Like I said, I was com I'm composer. The ass is doing most of the singing. 
<laughs> you know, but you know, I'm holding down beats and rhythms and like all of that stuff. Our director is our director. He has the final decision, but I've, he, we are made to feel comfortable enough to ask him to suggest maybe I sh can I do this? Maybe this should happen this way. Um, that may have nothing to do even with, you know, your job, you know, he's interested. You know, like I said, everybody knows their, their role and then the lines get blurred, you know, so everybody can put their feet in here and there, and, but they know that that one person has that final decision, you know, so I think that's when the best collaboration happens. People have been abandoned, yeah. right? You know, I, my life has been rough, yeah. which are two vocally articulated things. There's a guiding force, a director, Michael Gar says, who also is very cognizant of everyone's strengths mm. and also very adept at pushing those strengths. You know, he's great for morale and great in terms of challenges. Um, part of this is curated and part of it is energetic. The curatorial piece comes in choosing folks that inspire me and are very skillful at their particular process. Um, and their skill breeds trust. You know, so that's the kind of thing that I want to bring to the both the visual arts and the performing arts world is the visceral and emotional arc and narrative trajectory of the performing arts world and kind of the, the tactile and conceptual and uh, adaptable um, mentality, I think, of the visual arts sensibility and, you know, create space for both, create provocation in both, to agitate both in a really impactful way. And all the performers on the stage and all the elements that we've brought to the stage, I think are great instruments for agitating the comfort and the isolation around those respective sensibilities.